So when you think of the word fear, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, you mean the 1996 thriller star Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon? Damn, bro. Yo, that was a great movie. You know what? I personally think it was, was, was not what you were talking about. I, I, I'm sorry. Anyway, the word fear is our body's response to a potential threat. Fear is what triggers our sympathetic nervous system, also known as our fight or flight response. Now there are two types of fear. One that stems from actual danger, and then there is psychological fear, which tends to be more ego driven. Psychological fears can be both positive and negative. A positive example being watching a scary movie or riding a roller coaster. However, the negative side of psychological fears are sometimes more deep rooted and often stem from past childhood experiences. Like for me, for example, I've always been afraid of long-term commitment which is probably why I don't have any tattoos. If I had to guess, my fear of commitment probably stems from my parents being separated before I was born. Never really got a full grasp of what it was like to witness two people in love and, you know, being together for a long duration of time. The problem with psychological fear is that it's not real. These are false perceptions created by your ego as a means to protect you. The only thing is, there's nothing to really protect you from because these fears that you have don't pose any physical threat. See, the body can't tell the difference between real fear and psychological fear. So whether you have to knuckle up to save your life or give a speech at your best friend's wedding, your body's chemical response is gonna react the same. And if you're a person that's prone to anxiety or neurosis, this response puts a ton of stress on the body. So how do you overcome psychological fears? Well, for starters, you want to learn some breathing techniques. Learning to breathe deeply will activate your parasympathetic nervous system, also known as your rest and digest response. Deep breathing will help to relax your body and help bring you back to a normal optimal state. Next, you want to identify the cause of your fears. Why are you so nervous to talk to that girl or that guy that you like or ask your boss for a raise or quit your job so you can finally start your own business? Maybe it's a lack of confidence or you had a bad experience in the past whatever it is by identifying the cause you can then come up with a pragmatic solution to help rid you of these self-limiting beliefs next you want to learn to embrace your fear by gradually exposing yourself to it but for me for example i am afraid of heights to help me get over that fear my girlfriend and a buddy of mine we all drove up to this place called bruce peninsula to go cliff jumping and i remember being petrified who just jumps off a cliff and to make matters worse the guy who jumped before me almost drowned. Now, I don't know if midway through the jump, he realized that he couldn't swim or that just the fear kind of took over and knocked some screws loose, but he finally landed in the water and then all of a sudden just started freaking out. We all thought he was joking. We were like, ha ha, real funny, man. And then he kind of just sank to the bottom and didn't come up. We were like, oh crap, this, we're witnessing a death right now. Luckily, there was a guy like, at the bottom randomly just doing laps and he was passing by and saw the guy pretty much just dying and just kind of swam behind him, grabbed him and then just pulled him to shore and then just carried on doing his laps. Didn't say anything, didn't stop to get congratulated or anything, he just bounced. So you can imagine me now witnessing this and being like, fuck this, I'm not doing this shit. But then I thought to myself, these guys drove all this way just for me and if I don't end up jumping, it'll be a waste of a trip. So I did it and it felt great. It was. It, was, it went by quick, but it was amazing. As Mark Twain once said, do the thing you fear most and the death of fear is certain. So with that being said, this week's homework assignment is to do something that you're afraid of. In regards to the duration of this push start movement, I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos up until the end of the year and then we're going to do a final recap just to kind of see how people are doing how people are progressing um, I noticed a couple people kind of fell off and um, that's okay it's it's totally fine you know uh, everyone has their own journey their own process and how they do things the purpose of push start was kind of just give you guys a guideline and give you that extra little push. I will see you guys next week. Uh, oh, and happy Halloween. Uh, hopefully I get this out by Halloween. If, if I do, then have a safe and happy Halloween. And uh, don't eat too much candy. It rots your teeth, makes you fat, all that good stuff. Well, bad stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm your boy Tactics. Peace. And I'm out.